The things that led up to Smule, there's a couple of different things that happened. One is working with things like the Laptop Orchestra, which I was very, I was very fortunate to be a part of when I was a grad student at Princeton. This is the Princeton Laptop Orchestra, um, started by Professors Dan Truman and Perry Cook, who's my advisor. Um, when I started here at Stanford, started Stanford Laptop Orchestra. The Princeton one's called Plork. Our Stanford one's called Slork. And they occupy the two coasts of this, this country. Um, we built our speakers out of salad bowls. These are from Ikea. We just cut holes in them and put speakers in them. And we built instruments for everyday commodity computers, such as laptops. And eventually, we s- started the Mobile Phone Orchestra, or simply MOFO. <laughs> now, working on these things up to 2007, uh, in retrospect, was very informative. It was kind of, it was kind of my passion as a researcher. This is the kind of stuff I want to be working on, and didn't really think about a lot of you know commercial applications of this. Um, but of course, in 2007, 2008, some very revolutionary things happened, and. Uh, among which is the iPhone in 2007, and actually opening up the iPhone as a development platform um, and actually having an app store in the summer of 2008. So it was in that spring when I was actually scrambling to finish my dissertation for Princeton while I started here as an assistant professor, <laughs> trying to start the laptop orchestra. And then Jeff one day says, hey, Guh, uh, let's, let's, go have, let's go get a, get a drink at, at the Dutch Goose. Dutch Goose yes. The Dutch Goose, which is... And uh, I have this, this potential crazy idea. And um, he's like, hey, I think we should maybe start a company doing music for the iPhone. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. You're, you're insane. I'm about to die right now with all this other stuff. Um, but it was actually having worked on things like MoFo that I think made us realize why maybe starting the company was perhaps the right thing to do. As a researcher, it just seems like, wow, these these mobile devices are getting so powerful and yet so personal and so prolific and pervasive that very soon they're just going to change the way we do stuff. And as far as music's concerned, this seems like a great opportunity to explore how that might change the behavior of people and how they do music and also connect with each other through music. So that was, in some sense, the clinching thing for, for me. I think Jeff was ready to go. It's like, yeah, let's do this. And... Uh, you know, uh, and I wasn't—I wasn't as sure for for a while. <laughs> um, but it was. Uh, but I think at some point, something flipped and said, "You know, there's something as a researcher that I've got to find out." And this thing perhaps is best done in this two-prong approach of both doing academic research, but also trying to bring a lot of the, the things and ideas, things that are inspired by academic research, into products that can reach a large population.